It's been more than a decade since she disappeared, but her family in Indiana is not giving up hope for closure. Nikki McCowan was last seen 14 years ago today, leaving a laundromat in Richmond. She was a 28-year-old mother about to be married. A few months later, investigators found her vehicle in Dayton. A former Trotwood police officer was named as a person of interest, but killed himself as investigators tried to arrest him on a murder warrant in a separate case. Robert Lowry now was at tonight's vigil and updates us on the family's fight for answers. Well, this year has been especially hard. In just a few short months, Nikki's only daughter will be giving birth to her own child, which would have been Nikki's first grandchild. Tonight, the family is just hoping someone out there knows where she is. This would have been Nikki's first, and she would have been a young grandmother, too. It was 14 years ago when Nikki McCown took a short drive down the street to the laundromat and never returned home. Her disappearance doesn't get any easier for her family. It gets harder because, you know, what her mom's going through. You know, I think it's harder on my mom than it is on anybody else. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pasture. Now, a vigil held every year on this date has become one of the few lights since her trail has gone dark. Friends and family visiting this laundromat in their search for answers and as a way to lean on each other during a difficult time. We're still looking, you know. It's, it's not something that you just get, you know, throw it to the curve, you know. I know there's people that have, you know, people that have passed on. They, they can do something there, you know, go to a gravesite. We don't have that option. So the only memorial we have is that day that they, you know, disappeared. And next week, the family will receive a teddy bear from Project Jason. It's a group that's meant to keep missing person cases in the spotlight. Also, Richmond police are still looking for any new information. Reporting in Richmond, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.